everybody. I hope everybody's having a really, really good week this week. So this week, what popping and dropping is a caterpillar pop-up card. Isn't he stinking cute? I just love him. Look at all of that. And we're going to fit all of this into a card this week. Look at his little legs. And then he shuts right up very nicely, just like so. And this week I learned a new card closure that we don't need magnets or anything to tie it with. And we're going to learn how to do that too. So why don't we head over to Design Space. I'm going to show you all the pieces that you'll have in this file. And we can go ahead and get started. So I'll see you there. Okay guys, now that we are in Design Space, this is what the file will look like when you open it up. Don't forget to go up and name and save your project and add any additional pieces that you would like to add. Now we can go ahead and get them cut out and I'll meet you at the craft table and I'll show you how to we'll put this together. I'll see you there. Okay guys, now that we are at the craft table, why don't we get out our card base and our pretty paper to get started. And what we can do is go ahead and work our double score line here so we have a gusset. And then we're going to work the score line at the end um, also. So why don't we do that? Piece here. And we want to mountain fold, valley fold the piece with the two score lines that are wider apart. So when we do that, it should end up looking like this and then this end they are both going to be mountain folds so let's go ahead and work those and then once we have our mountain valley fold we are going to put glue right in this space and fold this end down on it so we have like this j looking piece so let's do that so it should be able to pivot back and forth like so now that we have this piece work I'm going to go ahead and put this on and get it centered before we glue this tab down so why don't we go ahead and do that then once we have this down we can put a little glue on each end here like so and then just fold it to our pretty paper okay so we have our piece here worked and folded now what we're going to do is up to our first score line that's closest to us we are going to center it like so. So we have a little gusset here for our card to move. So once you have it centered in place, we're just going to put glue on this and then adhere it to our card here. So let's do that. So that's what it's looking like and we can go ahead and glue the rest of our uh, pretty paper on so why don't we go ahead and do that Now we can take this strip that's in um, our file and what this does is just help secure our little um, edge here where our flap is going to go under to latch our card shut and I'm just going to turn mine over and use the opposite side. I didn't put um, score lines on these because what I did is just put mine down, folded it over, increased it on this edge, and then the 
did the same thing down on that edge. And then what we can do is turn it over and glue it. So let's go ahead and put that on. So we got that side on. Now I'm going to turn it over and glue this down. And there we have it looking cute. Now what we can do is let's get our um, little pieces out to make our balls. I saved uh, two of them to work with you. You'll also be needing the number size number 12, 1 and 3 fourths by 1 and 16 inch um, rubber bands. These are the ones that um, I like to use. So if for our balls, if you've never um, worked these, what we can do is work all of our score lines on our ball. So I'm just working the center score lines first. And then I'm going to go and work these side tabs right here. So it should look like that. We can do the opposite side. And these are just to reinforce to make our ball stronger. And then I'm going to work the tab at the top. So you should have something that's looking like that. Now, before we work the next one, what I want to do is we're going to put a little glue on our little triangle pieces here and we're going to fold it to and let them be drying while we work our next one. So why don't we go ahead and do that. There's our glue so we're going to turn it over and smush it down. Then we can get two of our pieces out that look like this and we are going to just glue those on top and set it like so see that right there and it's just going to make it more secure so let's do that so let's let this piece set and go ahead and work our next piece and we're just going to do the exact same thing we did here one thing what we need to do before we glue the tabs on this side we need to line our pieces up to match each other okay so if we put it like this our holes aren't going to line up so we need to make sure our piece is facing the correct way so see how they're both going the same way here like so but when we flip them if you notice we now have our tabs at the other end of each other now so we don't forget what we can do now since i already have this one done i don't need to do it i know this is going to be my inside because i have my support tabs already in but for this piece what we can do we're not going to see it is go ahead and mark an x on it like so and this is going to be the inside where we need to push our tabs in because we know that because when we fold it over our two tabs are at the opposite sides of each other and that's how we want it okay so we can go ahead and finish up with this one over here and the x means we're going to hide our tabs on that side so i'm going to go ahead and put glue and glue these tabs down so we have our two pieces on and glued down now what we're going to do is 
kiss them together again like so so they're going to be facing each other like so but if you want to test it out and make sure you have them the right way we're going to flip them up and yep we have each tab on the opposite end so what we're going to do is put glue on our little tab here and we're going to push them together this is one of the most important things for this piece is you want to try to line these two up as perfectly as you can because that is what's going to help our ball come together nicely so you see that there and then if we fold it in like so you can see that that's nice and even right there and just take your time and that's why i like glue because you can move it around to get your uh, piece in place now what i do after i glue it together is i take my scissors and I'm just going to snip about that much off on both sides. Like so. And then we can get one of our rubber bands and we can slide it through. Our little slot here and you'll kind of hear it snap into place when it goes in the hole and you want to be careful not to bend it like I just did and then I heard it snap so it's in there now we're gonna let this one sit and dry for a moment and we're gonna go with and do our other green tab our green ball i should say now before we get going and fold anything let's make sure we have these matching up correctly so if we kiss it together here like so let's work our tab score lines so i have my two tabs facing each other and then we would fold it over like so so our tab is on the inside and we have this lined up correctly because we have a tab on this side and a tab on this side so what we can do is open the inside back up and put our little x's so we know that this is the side we need to fold our tabs into So now we can go ahead and finish working our tabs and gluing our support pieces on. So let's do that. Now that we have our pieces folded and our tabs that helps make this sturdier glued on, now we're just going to take our two pieces and we're going to put a little glue on one of them and then push them together and make sure we're getting them lined up as best as we can. Then we're going to take our scissors and snip our little end off down here on each side. And then we'll take our rubber band and slide it in the hole. And I heard it click. Now let's set this one aside and give it a second to dry. Now let's take our red one that's been sitting and drying. And we want to work the side that
that is away from our slit. So my slit is over here. So I'm going to start on this side. So I'm going to fold it over. And I'm going to kind of put my finger in between the two. I'm going to push them in like so. And I'm going to put glue on both of these tabs here. So. And then we are going to smush it together and line them up as perfect as we could get them. So we're going to work the next tab. So we'll put a little glue on each of those and do the same thing as we did for the other. And then we should be at the tab with the, the hole in the middle. So we're going to push those so they're facing each other like this. And we're going to put glue on one of them and then push it together. So let's do that. Before we glue these, I forgot. I already have glue on mine, but that's okay. I have them facing each other, and we're going to snip a little bit off of the corners on these. And then we'll fold them in on each other. We're going to try to get these as straight as you can. Now, what we can do is we'll open our inside up so it should look like this. And if you can see, I got a little bit of glue in here off of my tab I glued together. So I'm going to try to clean that up a little bit. So now what we can do is we're going to take our rubber band and we are going to put it in our other tab on this side and try to be careful you don't bend your uh, tab when you put it in. So I just kind of go like that with the rubber band and work it over the tab and then I heard it snap in place and this would be the time to make sure everything is laying okay then once we have that in I like to smush my ball down like so and bend my tabs into each other and then I put a little glue and then kiss them together Now we have our ball. Now what I forgot to do is it's easier to put the decoration on while our piece is flat. But it's not hard this way either. So what I'll do is just smush my ball and put my little colored tab pieces on. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. our ball done here now what we can do is go ahead and put whatever color pieces you want on your green one before we put it together so let's do that so now we got our pieces on we're going to turn it over and whichever side our opening is not on so my opening is on this side to get my rubber band in I want to start working this side but before we do that let's kiss these two ends together like so and then we're just gonna snip the edges off at each side of this tab
So my opening is on this side, so I'll be working the tabs on my right. So let's go ahead and do that. Now we're to this tab. So we'll fold it in and do the same thing. We'll put glue on one side and then kiss it together. Now what we're going to do is get our rubber band on the inside and hook it to the opposite end. And then make sure our ball is okay with our rubber band. Then once we do that, we can smush it down and glue the other two tabs on. Now before we put our ball in here, um, it probably would be easier if we decorate our card before we go any further. So I think what I'm going to do is go ahead and do the front of my card and then I'll be back to show you how to put the balls on. So let's do that. So I pretty much got my card what I want on it. I just want to lay my caterpillar down and then lay the rest of it so I know where to place things. So what we can do is decide the order. First make sure our card is going the right way. We got the card going the right way. And then you're just going to figure out where you want your um, caterpillar to lay and which side. Like to me, sometimes, I don't know, this end looks better than this end. So I want this end down. So whichever you figure out which way you want it, we need to glue our little hexagon on top so I'm going to do that this is going to be my top so I'm going to glue this piece on the top of here so we should have all five of our balls done now this piece the red one is going to face just like this so decide which end you want the face to be on and I'm going to glue this piece on so this piece will sit like so um, then the next piece is going to lay on the side like that okay so I'm going to go ahead and glue one of my ends to it so it's going to sit just like so and once you have it on there you just want to hold it for a second to let it set and then once it's set just a little then you can push it down so you can really connect the two together and then we have our two together like so okay so you see how it falls like that so you're going to have to hold this in like so now we're going to work on this section here and we are going to take our next one which i think i'm going to do with the lighter and one of our bottom sections is going to go here okay so whichever one of these bottom ones you want and we're going to glue this one to this so you'll have that okay so I'm going to go ahead and put some glue on here and then once I think it's dry enough I'm going to smush it down all the way and then 
give it a good press. And then we have that. Now, we can set this piece aside and we'll get our two last pieces. Now, this piece will set like so in your card. And then this, the end we put our cover up pretty paper on is going to be the end that faces us. So you'll take glue and put it on this end and then choose whichever um, section you want it on. So it will sit just like so. Okay. And then when it lays, it should lay just like so. So we're going to glue this in to one of these sections. So let's go ahead and do that. So your other piece should be looking <clears throat> like so. And you do need to give this a minute to set and dry. So what we have to do is flatten our piece here and we just need to make sure everything is in our little square section see how i'm in now and if you want to take a pencil and mark so you know where to lay this you can so i'm going to put a little mark over here i think i'm going to do one here and over here and then i'm just going to take some glue on the bottom and then get everything back in place where i made my lines And then this piece, it just needs to set, I shouldn't say set, it needs to end up hitting right on top of here. So, like so. So if you have it lined up like this, and you just push everything down, then we can make sure... Nothing's going outside, so that's good. And then we can let it go back up again. Just to check to make sure. And so I'm good with where that is at. So what I'm going to do is push everything back down again to make sure nothing is going outside. And it's not. And then I'm going to do my little pencil mark. And then I'm going to pick it up and put glue down here on the bottom. And turn it over. Find my markings. There we go. It's landing good. And then I'm just going to give it a push back down to give it a second to dry and there we have it now i'm gonna put uh, my face on which is just the two eyes and the little circle for the mouth so why don't we go ahead and do that and for our legs here you just put a little glue on them and then you can actually just push this ball down if this is the one you want to put it on this is the one i put it on and then just place this leg down and if you don't want it to be seen of course you could take one of these and cover it up
Okay, guys, so here is the finished product. It says inching by to say, and I just did some flowers and ladybugs. And I love that we have a closure now where we don't need any extra supplies but paper and glue. And then we open it like so. We have our caterpillar. Isn't he so cute? And you do want to make sure when you put his little antennas on, if you want to put them on, that they're, they don't get in the way. I just had to push mine a little bit forward. And I did some butterflies. And then on the bottom it says, hello, friend. So that's what we're inching by to say. And look how cute he is, guys. And of course, to close him, we just push it down like so. Fold this piece over, tuck that in, and then on the back we have a little place where we can write a message. Do you guys know what a caterpillar does in the new year? Turns over a new leaf. <laughs> guys, thank you so much for stopping by and crafting with me. Don't forget to stop by next week to see what's popping and dropping. Bye!